2021 Kawasaki ZH2SE. Supercharged. <laughs> Well, hello there, YouTube. My Kaylee 7. Gonna try to be a little bit less crazy. Oops, gotta remember that damn turn signal. I gotta look into buying one of those add-ons that makes the turn signal stop. I don't know if they make those, but I'll try to find one. Michael Bayless was very upset with my speediness. Apologies. Every once in a while, you just got to let, let loose, and I'm going to rip one out. Not a fart, but a speed thing. I think today is July the 6th, 2021. I'm in rider mode. Got on my climb induction jacket. Flows the air very nicely. Tobacco. Oh wow. The flowers are coming up. Soon to be suckered. I'd like to do a shout out to uh, Maurice Neveu. Neveu? 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 Maurice was very kind and made for me two t-shirts with the My Kaylee 7 picture and logo and words on the back and I have been meaning to show them on video and uh, and sing his praises so Maurice I'm very sorry for not having done that yet things have been a little bit crazy around here so I will definitely get to that Shirts are beautiful. I still haven't really figured out uh, where to go to have you guys be able to buy them on your own. I don't think Maurice is selling. Maurice, if you're selling, let me know and I'll... I'll lead people to you. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm on my way to work. I've uh, worked a bit already this morning. And uh, now I'm on my way to the office to continue. Short week this week, thank goodness. That'll be nice. I don't know if you guys notice but I do keep this kind of distance between me and the vehicle ahead of me on a road like this. 
Uh, some of you watching, if you come from up north, where the speed limits are lower on city streets, like 35 or even 25, this distance is too far because a car could jump out. But at 56 miles an hour, nobody jumps out on you. Or almost nobody. This kind of distance is not too far for this kind of condition. Having, you know, been a, a, a driver slash rider for a while now, I, I know the difference. I know when it's uh, safer to stay back and safer to get closer. As you do when you know how to drive. But not everybody does, though. Some people, they, they're just kind of oblivious the whole time. smoke. Oh, these were planted later. No, no flowers on them yet. It's always interesting in an annoying way to me to see the armchair quarterback comments from people and some of them are really good riders but they don't seem to realize that I know the roads that I'm on and I'm suitably cautious I don't have a lot of close calls knock on wood because of that but if you come from up north you don't realize that uh, the driving culture is different in different places things that you can do in one place you cannot do in another and vice versa I'm leaning it like a Goldwing. I gotta learn how to lean it like a Kawasaki Z H2. I'll give you an example of the um, the difference in driving culture. When I was up in Salem in Beverly, Mass. Was it last week, week before? I definitely noticed, because I paid really close attention to the different ways. And um, up there, let's say you're at a red light, and you're in the left turn lane. Okay, first off, they don't have a dedicated light for you in a lot of cases. There's no dedicated left turn light. And the, the cars opposing you that are going to be going straight... In North Carolina, you would first expect that you'd have a left turn light, and if you didn't, then you would wait for all the cars going straight on the opposing side to finish. You know, they're gone, now you go. You don't cut in front of them, you don't go across, you wait until all the cars are passed, and then you take your left. But up in Massachusetts, the rule is different. The, the culture is different. They actually encourage you to turn left in front of them. They'll flash their headlights at you, wave their hand. It's a very different culture. And the speed limit thing is, is a big difference, too, because it's so crowded up there. The speed limit is like 25. So you can kind of imagine 
the, the differences that that would bring because people are expecting you to go 25 to 30 miles an hour in a 25 zone, which is the basically the entire downtown of Beverly or Salem. There might be some long stretches that's 35, but mostly it's 25. And so people expect you to be going around that speed. So there's no way in hell that you're going to be doing 50. You'll get a ticket first off. And you'll get in accidents, really bad ones. So if you're from up there and you're watching my videos down here, you don't know the culture down here. You're not from here. I'm not from here either, but I've adapted over the last 20 years. Ooh, giant logs. It's one of them uh, final exit moments, right? Don't get killed by the giant logs. I think I'm going to let these two cars get in front of me. Yes, yes, yes. The last thing I need is a big log in my face. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> And I've noticed that left turn thing is most of the United States. But up north, like in the New England states, it isn't. Like, if you get, if I'm waiting to take a left, for example, um, I, if I get to the intersection first and I'm waiting to take a left, the, the person coming the opposite way will actually wave me on, slow down, or completely stop to let me go. Like here, this guy right here. Since he got to the intersection first, uh, somebody coming the other way would have stopped to let him go. Otherwise, that person's an asshole. Or if somebody's waiting to turn of uh, their left onto this road, and I'm going to be taking a left onto their road, and they're already there, I go right around them, and I continue. And that's not an asshole thing to do. But up in, up in New England, that's a very bad thing to do. If they're already in the intersection waiting to turn left, and I'm going to be turning left in front of them, I don't. I stop and I wave them on. That's the culture up there. And some of you might say that's stupid. Well, stupid is relative, right? I mean, how stupid you are depends on where you're standing on the map. Isn't that from the Smokey and the Bandit movies? So if you're the, if you think that that kind of uh, thing is stupid, and you're just going to proceed, you let's say you're from down here. So I'm going to drive up north, and I'm just going to do like exactly like I do here in North Carolina. I'm going to go to Boston and drive the same way. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. You're going to hate it because you're not used to the culture. You have to figure out what everyone else is doing and do what they do. That's how I learned not to do that. You know, how I learned to drive North Carolina style or Hawaii style, because in Hawaii it's similar. Now, the, the difference in Hawaii is people are much slower in Hawaii when they drive. And because the roads um, are lower than the driveways to most businesses, and the cross streets are lower than the main road a lot of times on the sides, you got to go slower or you'll bottom out. So you'll see these people that put their right turn signal on and they'll take this career long left or right turn into a business or something. You're sitting there behind them like, oh my God, will you just turn already? It takes them forever to make a turn. And they're not as, at least when I lived there in 2000, from 2000 to 2005, they're not as, uh, they're not aggressive, first off. And they're um, they're not road ragey. I mean, they're, of course, you get road rage everywhere, but not as bad as some places like here. Oh boy! Like if you try to turn left in front of somebody here. 
if you're at a red light and the light goes green and you try to make that left in front of them, you'll get in an accident or you'll piss somebody off real bad and might have a really bad day. Oh, here's a North Carolina thing I noticed. People here, I've seen it so many times in the area that I'm in, the Wake County area, they'll be going down the road and they'll hit the brakes and start slowing inexplicably and then as they're turning or right before they're going to turn they'll put on the, the blinker like what are you doing you're supposed to signal before you begin your turn at least a hundred feet before you're supposed to signal that's a, a thing I've noticed particularly in North Carolina it's like a North Carolina driving culture thing Now, I'm not saying that I'm a paragon of virtue or perfection. No, 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 no. I'm just a regular driver. I'm not special. I'm not particularly good at anything. I'm just your average idiot. But these are the things I've noticed. Look at me, huh? Not doing too bad. Another thing down here I've noticed is people roll through stop signs. Especially in like rural areas. If you're in the city, of course, you stop and you, you know, do the whole thing. And it also depends on the intersection. But if you're in like a subdivision, you roll. You're going to see up here a, a stop sign that I'm going to be heading up to. And that everybody rolls through that. You, you slow down, you look, you roll. You don't uh, fully stop for three seconds and loop both ways 19 times. And a lot of you watching this, oh my god, that's terrible. Well, that's the culture here. You could say it's wrong. Well, fine. You go ahead. You stop the three seconds. You do what you want to do. You'll be all right. You might get people up your ass. You might get somebody smack into you. Thinking you're going to roll and you don't. It's that old adage of, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Well, when you're in North Carolina, you do as the Tarfoots do. Tarfeet. Right here, right? See that guy? Oh, what a great stop that was. Oh, my goodness. So many times that I've just seen people roll through there, including myself. Nobody behind me, so I could make a nice little stop there for you. Please, the safety queens. I'm the queen of safety, and I judge you lacking. Go back to driving school. I've had that from a couple of people. I don't like the way you ride your motorcycle. You should go back to driving school. Go take that NSF course again. Uh-huh. Okay. Next time I want any shit out of you, I'll squeeze your head. How about that? Wake County Sheriff Truck. You might be thinking, geez, Mike, why aren't you doing 100 miles an hour today? Uh, hello, it's the morning commute. And also, hello, did you not notice the Wake County Sheriff's Truck in front of me? Look at all these cars. I mean, there's cars everywhere. Why would I do 100 miles an hour in traffic conditions like this? That would be extraordinarily dangerous. I'd have to weave through all those cars ahead of me? No, thank you. Right now I'm speeding. Look at this guy. He's going faster than me. I'm doing 62, 63, and a 55, and this guy's pulling away from me. Trust me. I am tame by comparison to a lot of these people. This is where they turn the blinker on, right here. <laughs> like eight feet. Oh my god, I'm doing 42 and a 20. Well, there's nobody here. I'm looking ahead. That's one thing I have noticed, the difference between riding the Gold Wing and riding this bike, because this bike is so much zippier. I look way farther down the road. Really, I ought to be looking that far on the Gold Wing as well. But just, you have to recalibrate your sensors. Harley Chuck would love that. Oh, 
Oh, poopy. That's right, I can't go this way, can I? They've closed it off to the likes of me. Oh, well. Do a little zippy-doo here. Have some fun. I go till I scrape. I didn't scrape on that one. Oh well. I need to go back out to the highway and go up and around. Oof, made myself dizzy. I rolled through that stop sign, see? <gasps> oh my god, Mike. There's nobody here! Alright, well I won't bore you with my parking rigmarole. Oh, that was a big crack in the road. That was weird. It's quick. I will uh, talk to you guys later. Stay tuned for scenes from Boston. You guys stay safe out there.